the Lewis structure of copper to nitride will be annoying because the formula is Cu3N2. So we're going to eventually need three coppers and two nitrogens, but let's discover that on our own. This is a staircase of semi-metals. Anything to the left is a metal. That's copper. Anything to the right is a non-metal. That's nitrogen. The reason I'm telling you that is that metals and non-metals always bond to form ionic compounds. And those occur by a transfer of electrons from one atom to the other. It's always from metal to non-metal, by the way. Now, nitrogen is in group 15. So I want you to draw it with five valence electrons. Get it? The 15 ends in a five. Five valence electrons for nitrogen. Now that shortcut I just showed you about the number of valence electrons being the group number actually doesn't apply here in the transition metals because each of these atoms can have more than one possible charge. You have to base it off of the charge itself. The name here implies that the charge is two, but it's also here in the formula. This three came from the charge on N. This two came from the charge on copper. The charge on copper had been plus two. So I want you to draw yourself the copper atom with two valence electrons. Now the key bit is that non-metals want a full octet, a full outer shell of eight electrons. Nitrogen brought five, so it needs three more. This copper atom is more than willing to donate its two, but that still doesn't make the end stable. It needs a full outer shell of eight. You're going to need to build in another copper atom with its two valence electrons to donate that extra electron to nitrogen. Now this nitrogen is happy. It has five plus three, eight electrons total. You know who's not happy? This copper, who still has one electron to give away. You know what? You're going to need another nitrogen. There's the nitrogen. Nitrogen brings five, remember we said. And that copper will donate its electron here. But look who's unhappy. This guy with five plus one, six electrons now. That's not eight. Bring in another copper. This cascades until finally you're full. And P.S., it's going to be after three coppers and two nitrogens. Oh, that's what we have now. Because this nitrogen brought five, took its sixth, and now has its seventh and eighth. Now all the non-metals have a full outer shell of eight electrons. And all the metals gave away all their electrons. That's stability. Let's draw the completed Lewis structure. Each of the nitrogens brought five electrons but took three more, so draw it with the full eight. That's three more than it brought, so it's a minus three charge. Copper brought two, but don't draw it with any in the final structure because it each of the coppers gave away their electrons. They gave away two minus charged electrons each, so its charge is positive two. And your job is to draw enough of these that you have three coppers and two nitrogens. Now I like to spread around my positives and negatives here. I'm not aware of any rule on where these have to go, but your teacher might have one. I'm going to put another copper like over here somewhere. It's got a plus two charge and I need one more copper. So I'm just going to try to spread it out by putting it up here. Wow, this is a mess, but it does contain my two nitrides, nitrogens with minus three charges and three copper ions. Here's your completed Lewis structure. Here's how it happens. And here's the end of the video. Thanks for being with me and best of luck.